What a day it has been. You know, when I do these album or track reviews, I try to be very professional and do like a, a, a scripted or semi scripted uh, intro and exposition. But like, you read the title and you know why you're here, so we don't even need to do that really. Um, Linkin Park. New singer, new co-lead vocalist, new drummer too, actually. New song, new album. After more than seven years, it's finally happening. After years of uncertainty and rumors and speculation and certainly hope among the fan base. Because Lincoln Park, save for maybe My Chemical Romance and maybe Coldplay if you want to throw them in because it might be different flavors of rock or pop rock or what have you. Save for Coldplay or My Chem, you could wager that Linkin Park is like the 2000s rock band or one of the few genuine rock and roll phenomenons of the 21st century. One of the few bands, few mainstream bands in this century thus far that has really shaped and changed rock and roll and pop culture in that regard. Um, and so, of course, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, uh, bury the lead a little bit or try not to. Um, that live stream today was fucking awesome, but I noticed there were so many comments in the live chat that were like, oh, it's not the same without Chester. You should just change the name. It's like, y'all were asking for this for seven years and you finally get it and you're like ungrateful. Um, like, it's literally the same people that say, oh, Three Days Grace, uh, should have quit when Adam left, or Two and a Half Men wasn't the same without Charlie Sheen, like, like, this is, the, this is the vibes. It turns out some of you loyalist fans are actually just a bunch of pathetic turds, and I'm not, like, I'm not even pretending to be a huge fan of this band. You know, my introduction to Lincoln Park was what I've done in the Transformers movie in 2007, that's still one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, like, I, I consider myself a fan of Linkin Park, but I don't pretend to be, like, a diehard fan. Hybrid Theory came out when I was only three years old. I just wasn't conscious to, to experience it in its full capacity at that time. But I'm certainly appreciative and respectful of the band and their music and their legacy. And I think, with that legacy in mind, what they've done here... And with this new song in particular, The Emptiness Machine, is the exact right way to go. So let's talk about first Emily Armstrong from Dead Sarah, the new co-lead vocalist alongside Mike Shinoda, uh, Chester's replacement. I think you could not have plucked a better successor out of the sky if you tried. She is literally the female version of Chester. Being able to sing and belt and have that raspiness, but also that grit, the, being able to do the screams, that uh, like that, that grit in her voice. Um, she's really versatile, and she's an amazing vocalist. She's uh, she's the female version of Chester. She has all of his attributes. And so, and to be fair, this single, The Emptiness Machine, I do want to talk about this, like the song itself, considering we don't hear any rapping from Shinoda or any ostensible hip-hop um, sensibilities, which, of course, I, I guess one of the... Def one of the defining uh, characteristics of Linkin Park's music is the synergy of rock and hip-hop. Um, so... I imagine on the full album from Zero due out November 14th, is it? Um, we certainly will see more of that, and we'll see how Emily uh, fits in with the band and their more broader range of sounds and influences, I guess, if that makes sense. Because um, just going out this one single, it's a great single, um, but it's very just radio rock. It's very one-note compositionally. Not, not that it's a bad thing, um, but... You know, we're going to have to see how she fits into, like, more, like, just rap rock and uh, pop rock stuff, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's certainly going to be heavier than One More Light, I imagine, um, at least way more rock-oriented. Um, but speaking about her as a replacement, I think it was, again, they couldn't have picked a better vocalist, especially because... Um, of course, just by virtue of her not being Chester, by default, it's going to be different. But I think her being so similar and so so similar in talent and capability to him allows this new era to be grounded in the legacy of Lincoln Park while also forging its own path at the same time. And honestly, at this point, you need that perfect marriage, being able to to tastefully honor the legacy while still doing something new. And I think Shinoda said it best during the live stream when he said, in place of Chester Pennington are all of you. 
which was which was really nice. Um, so they will no doubt continue to honor Chester as respectfully as they can. Um, while making it clear this is not a replacement, this is just the start of something new, which is great. And I'll close on this. Um, of course, this wouldn't be happening if Chester was still here, but considering he's not, you know, th things, you know, if things, people often say if things can be different, but things aren't different. Things are as they are. And so the fact that, you know, the band has suffered this uh, pro tragically profound loss um, and are able to have the kind of triumphant return they deserve and forge a new path and show there is life after tragedy. That's the beauty of rock and roll. So I'll, gi I'll give the song a four out of five. What do you think about it? Are you excited for Linkin Park's return? Let me know in the comments and uh, take it easy.